Hi there. So let's do lesson number one now. Nothing I see in this room means anything. Nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. Now look slowly around you and practice applying this idea very specifically to whatever you see. This table does not mean anything. This chair does not mean anything. This hand does not mean anything. This foot does not mean anything. This pen does not mean anything. Then look farther away from your immediate area and apply the idea to a wider range. That door does not mean anything. That body does not mean anything. That lamp does not mean anything. The sign does not mean anything. That shadow does not mean anything. Notice that these statements are not arranged in any order and make no allowance for differences in the kinds of things to which they are applied. That is the purpose of the exercise. The statement should merely be applied to anything you see. As you practice the idea for the day, use it totally indiscriminately. Do not attempt to apply it to everything you see, for these exercises should not become ritualistic. Only be sure that nothing you see is specifically excluded. One thing is like another as far as the application of the idea is concerned. Each of the first three lessons should not be done more than twice a day each, preferably morning and evening. Nor should they be attempted for more than a minute or so, unless that entails a sense of hurry. A comfortable sense of leisure is essential. So what lesson number one is attempting to get you to understand is that the ego has given meanings to things like tables and chairs and hands and uh, lamps and windows and doors and shadows. That meaning that the ego has given is what we're training our mind to say it doesn't mean anything. And the reason we want to do that is because we are startling ourselves, literally with this very first lesson, we're being startled into realizing that we have given meaning to things that do not really mean anything because that meaning that we have given things blocks the meaning that God has given things. And as we proceed through these lessons, that's going to become very obvious. But for now, let yourself be comfortable Again, don't single out specific things to say, I'm not going to say it about this thing. Just follow your intuition. Whatever your eye lands on, first things that are close by, then things that are further away, so that you can begin to get comfortable that nothing that you see anywhere means anything according to the meaning that the ego has given it. So this is the completion of lesson two. Thanks a bunch and have a magnificent day.